Whoa, look at that glare. Like, the other day when I got these, I'm pretty sure I paid an extra 100 bucks or something for anti-glare glasses. Anyways, um, just to respond to Anthony, everything you said is so darned agreeable that I can't think of anything else to add, honestly. I mean, writing good, clean code is super smart, and, um... Uh, yeah, having constraints is, like, a huge bit of what makes innovation work. I mean, that's kind of the point of, like, the Let em Dare game development contest, is you've got all these constraints, and within those constraints, you're kind of forced to make something innovative, not just the same old, same old kind of thing. So, I'm definitely all for that. I didn't actually watch your linked to videos, though, so maybe I missed, like, some other real key awesome discussion points here. What I do have to say, though, is what uh, Mike Kasperzak just said about private journaling is actually, that's really got me thinking. Because uh, one of the challenges that I've been facing is that uh, I find that blogging is a super good way for me to keep motivated. Because I can look, like if I go and blog, like, you know, every day or every other day, I've actually got like a record of what I've done, so I can actually see my progress, which really helps keep me motivated. The trouble is, is like, the main project I'm working on now is um, very closely tied with a pretty extensive like PR stunt kind of thing, and so I really need to be able to control access to that information for that game um, to do the stunt the way I want to be able to do it. And uh, so I can't blog about it publicly. So sometimes I've had a hard time keeping motivated because I'm just like, gosh, I mean, I feel like I've been working on this thing forever and am I doing anything? And, you know, I don't have any proof that I've done anything other than the game that's there, but I don't have any, like, written record of what specifically I did in the past week. Um, but if I had a private journal, which was like a blog except for me, that would be great because it would serve a couple purposes. One, it would help me stay motivated. And two, it would help me collect in progress screenshots and collect blog entries about the development process so if um, if after the game is released I want to release some of those entries as public blogs or something I could actually do that so I think that's a really good idea Mike I might just have to do that <laughs>